38-year-old Earl Morrill took his place at the line of scrimmage. Long before he replaced injured quarterback Bob Greasy and led the Miami Dolphins to an undefeated season, Earl Morrill was a legend in Muskegon. He was a natural leader. Uh, he just uh, he took command of things. He was a very intelligent guy and uh, people respected him. In 1951, Harry Voss and Earl Morrill were teammates on the Muskegon High School football team that won the state championship. Those, those were great years. In the early 50s, we, we had some real fine teams. The biggest uh, play I think I remember Earl, we were having a tough game with Benton Harbor, at Benton Harbor. We needed something to happen, and uh, all of a sudden Earl uh, took the ball on a quarterback keeper and uh, in the end zone he went, and uh, he surprised us all. I felt that all along the way I've contributed. That's Morrill during an interview some years ago. After Muskegon, he went to Michigan State and quarterbacked the Spartans to a Rose Bowl championship. Beside that, Earl uh, led the uh, nation in kicking and punting. As a pro, Morrill played for six teams, went to three Super Bowls, and won two. He had it all. He had all kinds of success, but he is a very unpretentious person. He, uh, he was a, just a really neat, neat guy. In recent years, he was in poor health. His death follows a long illness. It's a bit of a shock. Uh, I knew he was ailing. Earl was just a, guy, a great guy to, to have known, and I'm proud to have been associated with Earl. He's just really quite a, quite a fellow.